Welcome to Chat Cruisers. My name is Brad. Today we're going to take you on a Go Train journey to Port Credit, Ontario. This is Go Train Journeys, taking you on some local adventures using Go Transit, Toronto's regional transit system. We're riding the Lakeshore West Line, beginning our journey at Union Station in the heart of downtown Toronto and riding west four stops to Port Credit. It's been said it's not where you go, but how you get there. So let's sit back and relax and enjoy some of the sights along the way to Port Credit. We depart Union Station on time and make our way west through the Union Station Rail Corridor, which is one of the most complex sections of railroad track in Canada. We pass the Rogers Centre and CN Tower, some of the most notable landmarks in Toronto. Our first station stop along the line is Exhibition, home of the Canadian National Exhibition, Toronto's version of the State Fair. On the north side of the tracks, we see the condominium towers of Liberty Village. Next up, we pass Sunnyside and the FG Gardner Expressway. Although the traffic looks like it's smooth sailing today, quite often the Gardner is jammed. While the GO train flies by with ease, it's always better to take transit. We pass over the Humber River and the neighborhood of Humber Bay Shores before arriving at Mimico, which is a First Nations Ojibwe word for where the wild pigeon roams. Next, as we look out of the north side of the train, we're passing Willowbrook, which is the maintenance and storage facility for GO Transit and UP Express trains. And as we look out of the south side of the train, we can see Via Rail's Toronto Maintenance Centre. If you're new to our channel, welcome! Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and also the thumbs up and leave us a comment to let us know how you enjoyed the video. We're now arriving at Long Branch Station, where we meet an eastbound train. At Long Branch GO Station, you can connect to the TTC 501 streetcar. Or, perhaps take a walk in Marie Curtis Park, which is just a bit south of the station. We're now passing over the Etobicoke Creek, which is the dividing line between the City of Toronto and the City of Mississauga. Welcome to the 905. Now our train picks up a great deal of speed, flying through people's backyards. It's nice just sitting here watching the world go by. We are now arriving at Port Credit. It looks like such a beautiful day outside, I can't wait to explore what this area has to offer. But first, let's watch our train depart. It's being pushed by Locomotive 564, which is a GM F59PH. Port Credit GO Station is located steps away from the main area and all the attractions of Port Credit. Just outside the Port Credit GO Station, My Way, which is Mississauga Transit System, 
has buses available which will take you to different points of interest in Mississauga, including Square One. Alrighty, just off the train here at Port Credit, let's see what there is to do around here. Welcome to Port Credit. Located in the south end of Mississauga, where the Credit River meets Lake Ontario, this is an absolutely gorgeous community and a wonderful place to spend the day. The history of Port Credit can be traced all the way back to 1720, when the Mississauga Ojibwe First Nations Band established a trading post here to exchange goods with European settlers. Port Credit was its own municipality until 1974 when it was merged with the city of Mississauga. The most famous attraction at Port Credit is the Port Credit Lighthouse, which was built in 1991 to replace the original lighthouse destroyed by fire in 1936. It is a working lighthouse and is visible from 15 miles out on Lake Ontario. An interesting fact about Port Credit is that it is an international entry point into Canada by water. The waterfront here at Port Credit is quite beautiful and is an amazing spot to take a walk and enjoy the scenery. Alright, all that walking has made me so hungry. Let's check out the food scene here at Port Credit. You can easily make a day out of Port Credit. There's plenty of places to check out for food, including coffee shops, restaurants, and pubs. There's a variety of food available, fast food or sit-down restaurants, and many of them have wonderful patios. Check out Rosie's Burgers, which is famous for hamburgers and pork credit. Or how about some tacos at Eva's Original? The Pump House Grill is also fantastic and has a beautiful patio. On our previous trip to Port Credit, I checked out the Vorix Burger Bistro, which serves up some amazing hamburgers and fries. But it's morning time and I'm feeling some brunch, so we're heading to Huevos Gourmet, where Chris is going to meet me, and we're going to enjoy some Mexican-style breakfast. Join me for brunch here at Huevos Gourmet. Of course, every great brunch starts with a mimosa, and look at the size of this one. I had the Taco Benedict, which had poached eggs, cactus, tortillas, potatoes, and a side of salad. It was delightful. And Chris had the Waffle Benedict, which had egg whites. We also ordered this veggie omelet. After a fantastic brunch, we spent some time exploring Port Credit Memorial Park, which is an excellent green space and a great place to relax in the sun. Huevos Gourmet had us in a Mexican mood, so we felt like some margaritas. We headed over to El Jefe, which serves up some amazing margaritas, tacos, and other Mexican food. Plus, they have a fantastic patio. At El Jefe here in Port Credit, and look who just showed up. Lunchtime. We started our lunch with these amazing margaritas. And for appetizer, nachos with freshly made tortilla chips. We also tried out the fish taco with beer battered cod and chicken tacos. They were both absolutely amazing. Plus another margarita because why not? I'm not driving. And if you've watched our videos, you know we love food and we love to eat out. So of course we checked out another restaurant for dinner. Alrighty, it's time for dinner here in Port Credit. Let's check out Pasta, Italian restaurant. Posta is an Italian restaurant located just off State Bank Road. It has a fantastic patio and beautiful interior decor. Great place to spend dinner. 
we were sat at a very nice table overlooking the marina at Port Credit. We shared the Wellington County New York strip loin, which was cooked to perfection, medium rare, just how we like it, plus the Kraken, which is grilled Moroccan T1 octopus. It fell apart, it was so delicious. And the spaghetti vongole, which was with Nova Scotia clams. And for dessert, well, we headed two doors down to Scoop's Ice Cream Shop, which serves up some amazing, delicious homemade ice cream. Many flavors are available. I tried the banana, chocolate, and Nutella. And of course, I had to have it on a sprinkle waffle cone. Delightful. About to head home from Port Credit. As you can see, there's lots of stuff to do here. Lots of good food to try. Delicious ice cream. There's plenty to do if you look for local travel options. So check out the GO Train to visit some interesting destinations around the Toronto area. It was a fantastic day at Port Credit, and it's now time to head back to Toronto on the GO Train. If you want to travel, it doesn't mean you have to go all the way across the globe, stay in a fancy hotel, or take a cruise. Perhaps it's just taking a train ride to a neighborhood you've never been to before. I encourage you all to get out there and enjoy a GO Transit journey. Thanks for watching today, we'll see you next time on Track Cruisers.